If you're looking for high quality tracking callouts for Final Cut Pro, then look no further because in this video, I'm going to show you over 200 different tracking callouts and how easy they are to use. If you like free stuff, hit that like button because I'll also show you how you can get some of these amazing tracking callouts for free. Using callouts is a great way to draw attention to something specific in your footage and that can really increase the production value of your edits. This video is sponsored by Motion VFX and if you don't already know Motion VFX, it's home to some of the best plugins and templates for Final Cut Pro that you can get. There are a bunch of different categories of tracking callouts and I'm going to show you some examples of each of them. But first, let me show you how they work by showing you an example from the M Callout Simple 2 pack. I have this drone shot from Lake Bled and I can add a tracking callout by simply grabbing one of them and dropping them on top of my clip. I'll use the shortcut Alt and the square bracket to trim it to the length of my shot and I'll make sure that I'm at the beginning of my clip and I'll use the on-screen controls to move this tracking box over the area that I want to track. To get the best results for the track, you'll want to choose an object with a lot of contrast. So the top of this church will work nicely. I'll position this box over here and I'll resize it like that. I'll hit track down here and this is the track happening in real time. I'm not speeding it up at all and you can see it tracks pretty quickly. You'll notice how it's locked onto the top of the church doing a really good job. Now that the track is done, I can use this on-screen control to position the call out and I'll scrub through here so that you can see that it's perfectly tracked to the church. There are loads of different settings that you can change in the inspector window, so let's go through some of them. I can change the horizontal flip, and then I can reposition the call out to the other side. I'll change this text here to Lake Bled, and I'll adjust the size to fit. I'll change the second text to Slovenia, and then I'll adjust the tracking amount, which is actually just the spacing between the letters. I might want to change this color, and I can color pick from the roof of this building. You can change the properties for the frame, the line and the tracking spot. And while all of these settings will differ for each callout depending on what the callout looks like, this will give you an idea of how customizable these callouts are. It's also important to mention that you can change the type of movement that the title follows. By default, the movement type is set to linked, which means that the callout follows the movement of the tracking point. Static will keep the title in a specific position on the screen and the line that links the callout to the tracking point changes between them. Perspective will move the callout relative to the tracking point depending on the movement in your shot. This pack, the M Callout Simple 2 pack, has 50 different callouts to choose from, and some include drop zones, which means you can add video clips, still images, or even logos to these tracking callouts. This pack is probably best suited for most people who want to track simple, elegant, and professional looking titles and callouts to their footage. If you're looking for something different, then I'd recommend looking at the high tech or tech packs, which have a range of digital and futuristic looking callouts. Here are some examples of what you'll find in the high tech callouts pack. Another pack I really like is the M Callout Specs pack, which includes an icon as part of the callout. This is cool if you're highlighting specific features of a product or if you want to include a visual representation of what's being talked about or pointed out with the call out. Again, there are 50 different options to choose from here with this pack, and all of these packs have a demo version that you can download for free to try out. Motion VFX has also just released a pack of glitch callouts as well. In each demo pack, you'll get a couple of different tracking callouts, so I'd recommend adding all of the demo versions to your cart and then try them all out to see which pack is best for you. I'll leave a link down below for all the free demo versions. They're unwatermarked and they work just like they do in the full pack. The only difference is you don't get all 50, obviously. And I'll also leave a link to all the full packs so that you can check out the pricing. They usually sell for $99, but Motion VFX often has sales. So I'd recommend that you sign up for their newsletter as well, because that will be the best way to find out about any discounts. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos and I'll catch you in the next one.